Let's go, kill it, kill let's, it, go, it, let's, go it, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. One more crunch. One so, we just met up with Michael. Hey, I fell asleep. My nana was doing some va varnishing downstairs and painting. The varnish fumes went up through the roof and um, I slept through about six hours of it. So I, I woke up feeling quite cooked, to be honest with you. So that's the reason why he's helping me with my party. <laughs> <laughs> what we're going to do is three man a Cresselia and prove that even in my weakest day, we can three man a Cresselia. This is the weakest form. <laughs> Let's talk. This, this is speed form yep. deoxys. This is how weak I am. Got <laughs> um, um, doesn't have the highest attack stat, but it's got a decent defensive stat and a decent hit point stat. Mm. Obviously, the counters for Cresselia are... Can I guess? Yes. Dark, Bug, and... What's the third one? Dark, Bug, and... You go to a graveyard to find them. Ghosts. Ghosts. Yes. Beautiful. There we go. Beautiful. Here is the problem. Cresselia has got a couple of move sets that are really good. So the first one being Moonblast. Moonblast kills every single thing. Is that a one hit? Um, no, but it's literally pretty much a two hit, even yeah. on your strongest Pokemon. Because we want a three man this raid, mm. we want to put together the most powerful high DPS list of Pokemon we can have together. Now, realistically, to three man this list, you want Giratinas. Tyranitars are good but they're not really meant for a speed run. If you have a high IV Weavile, because if, if you're versing an Aurora Beam Cresselia, so we'll go through the three moves that Cresselia has. So Moonblast, Aurora Beam, which is an ice-based move, which is a very quick charge, so it uses it every five seconds, which is good. Um, the third move is Future Sight, which is the ideal one, because it does FA damage to all your Pokemon. My, my party, so Giratina, one thing I've learned over the last while is that Giratina is the supreme Pokemon. Yeah, it's got quite a high attack stat, not as high as Gengar's, it's survivability absolutely dwarfs it. So in the comparative league, so you put out a Gengar, it'll die in 10 seconds, you put out a Giratina, it might die in 30 seconds. The difference in once the, the Gengar dies and switches, the Giratina will last three times as long, which means you'll need to switch Gengar's three times. While it dies and respawns, the damage made up from the Giratina makes it stronger. So Weavile is also a very good counter, because if you're versing an Aurora Beam, Aurora Beam is an Ice-type move. Yeah. Ice-type moves destroy Giratinas because they're Dragon, mm. yeah? But Ice-type moves against Weavile, I think I got, I think I tanked seven Aurora Beams as with my 100% or, or, um, um, Weavile, yep. which means I got out like 14 foul plays, which was mm. huge, you know what I mean? Getting heaps of DPS out there. Now, to build the perfect party, realistically, I kept the Gira I kept the, the Tyranitar in there just because it was a bit of damage, mm. but realistically, to, to actually smash this raid out, I'm going to smash through my first four Pokemon, get out, revive all my Pokemon again, and then go back into the same four. To, to realistically build a strong team, um, we're going to have to look at your Giratinas, your Gengars, your Weavile's, uh, and maybe even a Tyranitar or two. Okay, sweet. So look, because of the weather boost right now, because it's cloudy, I'd normally say throw a champ in there. Yeah. Because oh, really? the champ's huge, but the only problem is Psychic is resistant against Spike. So that's the party that yeah. I think we should use. Um, have you, wait, wait, whoa, 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 Weavile candy. Have you got any Weavile candy? Are you sure you have Weavile candy? Oh. <laughs> I got 400. Okay, so we're going to power up this Weavile. How again. am I looking with Stardust? 50k, mate. Yeah, it's a good event. Last time. Yeah. So fan attack, flower, foul play. One thing you have to do is before you set up for a raid, you make sure all your Pokemon have the correct moveset. So you go into yep. your party, so you're talking Giratinas, you go into Pokemon, you go Giratinas, and you look at the three one. Oh, Gira, Giratina. So we got Shadow Claw, Shadow Ball, Shadow Claw, Shadow Ball, and Shadow Claw, Shadow Ball. Beautiful. Yep. And with Weavile, you want um, Faint Attack and Foul Play. Really exciting, really strong moves. How about the Tyranitar? That should be Crunch. Bike Crunch, so we'll just double check. Yeah. We'll just double check and it has Bike Crunch. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Sweet. So we are full, we are ready to go, and when James is ready to go, it's about 50 seconds on this raid left. We're mm -hmm. going to try and three man it. We're, we're ready here. We're yeah. ready here. Okay. Uh, Let's jump into the raid we'll and see raid. how we go. We're going to get James ready and I'll see you soon. See you soon.
Oh, so we're going to do a pogo wave here today. Oh, can we get any lucky friends? That's the first thing. Film the screens. Oh, six rare candy. Alright, well, let's put, put all the devices down. Yep. Let's get down to business. So, are we going to do this pogo wave? Yep. Yep. That's cool. So, Tally's shiny. account first. Not uh, shiny. Okay. And we got 15.86. I'm trying to keep my fat head out of the way. Not, not shiny really for not me. Not shiny. I mean, we got 1606, that's a bit better. Oh, maybe later. Come on. Nope. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. My let's second. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ah. Here we go. You know it's going to be okay, pigs. Michael. You know it's going to be pigs. Michael. Ah! <laughs> 1623. Oh, that is oh, an absolute delight. Is that 100%? Oh, no, it's like, no, it's like 91 probably. Oh 93. my god. Back to back. No. Oh. Look at that. Okay, one shiny. 1623. Shiny 98 percent. Look at that. Dun, 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 dun. Shiny 98 percent. Dun dun dun. dun. Okey doke. So we are again trying to three man a Cresselia. So the key is to keep the friendship bonus as high as possible. Yeah. Which means none of us can die at the same time. Yeah. Obviously dodging's out of the question. So I've got it staggered. So this account has five Pokemon in it. This one has six. I'm only going to use four Pokemon on this one. I'm going to use four on this one. And you're going to use um, whatever you can. When I, when I you just tell me when to go back in, yeah. bro. Yeah. You just yeah. tell me when to go back in. We've got five minutes to do it. Really want to just put in as much damage as possible. Giratina is obviously the key. Uh, origin form is just future sight, perfect. It's got future sight. It's good. All right, so that increases our chances of being able to do it. Moonblast is devastating. So future sight, it, it's a quick move, so it charges our attacks quite quite fast, but it doesn't do as much damage as mm. Moonblast, which means we're going to get a lot of charge attacks off doing this. It's going to kill a Pokemon pretty quick, but as long as we pick on the revive, we should be. Can I get one more charge out before I go down. One more charge out. Okay, so where do we need to be? Where do we? At uh, 225 seconds, we need to be in a quarter. At 150, we need to be in uh, uh, yellow, but realistically, you wanted 160 for the revives. Um, Alright, can I get one more, please? One more. One more ball out. That would be great. No, you won't let me have it, will ya? Alright, so I'm onto my Gengars. I'm on my Gengars already. High, high DPS, high DPS. Yeah, but it's gonna, they're gonna die. Oh, they're gonna die quick. So you, you, you want me to get, get into my Tyranitars? Yes. Okay. So I'm using two T-Tars, both maxed out, both level 40, both Bite Crunch. Um, obviously they are tanks, but we're not talking about tanking. We're talking about taking this down as fast as possible. So I'm on the wall, it already carved through my second Gengar, bro. Yeah. yeah. So I'm onto my T-Tar. Tell me when to jump out. If you jump out and revive now, you're all good. So go. All right, go. go. I'm jumping out. Revive. All right. Quick, 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 quick. I'm trying. It's been a bit I'm slow. Ahead. Just keep pumping. Items. Max revive. Go back in. Okay, slide they're all over, good. Yeah, yep, rejoin. Okay, okay, I'm in. So we've kept our friend bonus, all right? 162, 100. It, it, it's it's about to turn on, yellow. It's about to turn yellow. So we've got first revive out of way, which is good, which means... It's on yellow on 154. We're on, we're on track, it's but good. Good. we still have to take into account that Pigs has to do a bit of reviving. Okay, I'm jumping out of and my main. Unfortunately, on his main, he has no maxes, which is going to cost us about three to four seconds because he has to use more more revives. Which mm -hmm. is irritating. And I'm gonna keep putting some butt hurt on. One more shadow ball. Let me have it. Nice. You can let me have another one. Another shadow ball. Another juicy ball. Can I have it? Can I have it? Oh yeah, I got it. Oh, bought ourselves about two seconds with that. All right, second Giratina is out. I'm feeling good about this one, dude. I'm feeling good. It's, it's much better than it was last time. I'm feeling good. All right, I think we can do this. I think we can do this. Well, 75 seconds, we need this to be at red. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, so um, my second Giratina, I don't think I can get another Shadow Ball off. Oh, it's close, really close. I don't know if I can get enough. So my second Giratina's down, now I'm into Gengar season. Oh my Lord. All right, now, what do you suggest? 
Should I get out? I don't know. And go back in? I don't know. What, I think it's just keep it as is. Should, should I just use my Tyranitar? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Because the revive's going to take 10 seconds out of it. And that's going to not equal the damage. So I reckon just stay, take it out. Alright, so we're going to stay in with Tyranitars. Um, this raid's about to end. We haven't got time to do it again. So, you know. But realistically, these two T tiles probably won't outlast that 40 seconds anyway. And they will. Alright, so, so far we've gone through, I've personally gone through four Giratinas. Those Gengars just get smashed. They get smashed 26 seconds. We've got this, bro. We've got this. We've got this. Keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. Keep on trucking. Three man in Cresselia. Three man in Cresselia. No time for glitches. No time for stooges. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. One more crunch. One more crunch. One more crunch. Come on. And there you have it. The three man Cresselia raid from the boys. Very good. Of course, I'm getting no rare candy. All right. Now let's see. Let's line it up. Who's going to get the shiny? No rare candy. Who's Shining getting rain. that shiny? Yeah, it's raining, but Three, it's all two, good. One. Let's do it. No, no, and no. no, no, no. But the bottom line is, Woo. we just three man to Cresselia. Life is good. So the key to that, what, what advice would you give to people that want to take this down? If you have a six party at Giratina's level 40, which I don't think many people will have, um, that will do the trick. Mm. Um, Giratina's the key. Gengar's made up a, a fair bit of difference like in regards to the DPS. So we were actually at 72 seconds when it went red. Mm. But then my Gengar and your Gengars came out and that's where the DPS caught up. Yeah. We finished the raid with what, two, three seconds left? Literally. Uh, if I would have gone out and come back in, I mean. we would have lost. Yeah. So thank you for watching. That is how you take down a Giratina with three people. I mean, no, Cressilia with three accounts. Mission accomplished. We're gonna get back to living our lives. Also I got a new watch. It's pretty gang. It's pretty gang gang. Thanks for watching, subscribe to the Pogo Show. Mm, thanks, Amy. Yeah.